the statistics, I mean, many Indian commentators, and obviously I read uh, the Indian press very closely and follow it. So they say that, you know, this is this has to do more with identity politics and the kind of message and the consolidation of a, uh, you know, what is known as the Hindu identity or, or Hindutva, it's also known. I mean, many terms have been applied. And because if you look at some of the data, then, you know, unemployment uh, remains high. I mean, yes, people have come up uh, out of poverty in India in the recent years. Uh, but, you know, there's something, there's a magic going on. There's a Modi magic, which uh, propels people to, you know, go uh, and, and vote for BJP. Uh, I, and uh, the, uh, one thing I've also read is that they have a very a remarkable machinery on the ground, you know, grassroots uh, organization of BJP and its uh, affiliate uh, uh, RSS. So how far are those factors contributing to this return, uh, imminent or expected return of uh, Narendra Modi? Uh, no, you're absolutely right uh, that identity is playing a very important role. But uh, please understand that it is uh, one of the pillars of uh, Modi's uh, appeal, uh, Modi's national appeal. And in fact, uh, uh, equally important or more important uh, are his uh, delivery uh, on a range of issues. And in, in fact, uh, one of the major uh, supporters which will be propelling Modi back to power uh, are the whole uh, Labharthis. So you have Labharthis, uh, so-called beneficiaries of government schemes. And again, uh, I mean, uh, and and at, at one time uh, we had a former Indian Prime Minister saying that we are sending one rupee uh, from the top, and uh, literally fifteen paisa uh, is going uh, to the common people, so to the beneficiaries. But now I think all those leakages have been plugged, and you see, I mean, pick up, I mean, uh, the Ujwala Yojana, which is about giving free gas connections uh, to women, uh, the Nal Sajal Yojana. Uh, pick up uh, the P PM uh, Kisan Samman, and I can just go on and on. Uh, the issue is that uh, there has been an active and very, very proactive reaching out uh, to those prospective sort of uh, Labharthis and ensuring that uh, Pakka House. I mean, uh, so I think all these have, in fact, uh, uh, added uh, to the power uh, to the Modi magic. And I'm not at all saying that Hindutva uh, or uh, the identity is not playing a role. Uh, I mean, obviously, we look at uh, the whole euphoria, the national euphoria on, uh, I mean, uh, the building of the Ram Temple, the Pran Pratishta of the Ram Temple, or even uh, revocation, abrogation of Article 370. So I think it's it's a mix of, uh, I mean, uh, identity, it's a mix of uh, governance, uh, actual uh, real uh, track record of governance. And that's exactly, in fact, I would urge uh, people who are interested in understanding uh, the Modi magic, as you rightly said, is please look at their Sankal Patra. In fact, uh, each I mean, when, I mean, the, I mean, each of those categories, in fact, uh, starts with pointing out uh, and cataloging what they have done, what the government has done in the past ten years, and then, in fact, uh, going ahead and actually promising uh, again this whole big promise of taking India from. Uh, I mean, being the th uh, I mean uh, fifth largest economy to the third largest economy in in in, in his uh, more, uh, next term. Yeah, uh, no, definitely economic progress and India's standing, uh, uh, you know, uh, the world international standing, is also something that uh, I saw that in the election campaign and uh, it was referred to. Uh, but what were the key issues in this campaign? I mean, obviously there's a big opposition to Narendra Modi as well. You know. Uh, the Indian National Congress, the regional parties uh, uh, like Samajwadi Party, uh, BSP, uh, the, the parties in the South uh, and in uh, in uh, West Bengal. So, what, what what were the key key issues that were being debated, uh, um, Dr. Manish, uh, in this election campaign? Uh, I think as I started out, I mean, uh, when I'm saying it is about the message and the messenger. So I think on the other side, it's also about uh, the lack of a messenger. So there is no unified uh, messenger, uh, someone mm. who is acceptable to the opposition party uh, as their national face. I think, uh, I mean, despite what Rahul Gandhi is doing, uh, I mean, with the International Congress or pick up, uh, I mean, in DMK, you have Stalin. Uh, so obviously... Uh, there is no unified message which is coming out from the opposition. And on the other side, you see that, uh, I mean, Prime Minister has been regularly uh, through his campaign rallies, through his campaign speeches and his interviews to uh, both national and international media. Again, is uh, repeatedly talking about, you know, that uh, requesting uh, the voters, requesting uh, the commentariat to actually look at the record 
uh, of uh, and again as i said it, it is really about uh, performance it is really about delivering uh, what had been promised uh, and again not just politically but also economically uh, there are issues obviously uh, but i think uh, one of the major uh, issues in recent days also his action against uh, corruption so you do have uh, the ed sort of taking action and again uh, for example uh, you have the delhi uh, chief minister uh, in in uh, i mean uh, i mean in prison uh, because of uh, the act, uh, i mean the supreme court uh, i mean action i mean i think uh, so supreme court also not giving uh, relief uh, knowing uh, looking at uh, what is there on the table in terms of assessing uh, i mean the corruption charges so i think uh, those are the sorts of issues that uh, what prime minister is saying that okay he has been acting on uh, against the corrupt and in fact promising uh, more action against the corrupt uh, i mean in in, in his uh, next term yeah so you know while this is all true but you know the opposition uh, in india uh, you know there's a big argument you know the guardian for example had uh, uh, put out an ed editorial two days ago that you know uh, locking up the opposition or undermining dissent is does not bode well for for India. Now, this is a view, obviously, uh, that is contested because the BJP or the government uh, uh, they think. But is this view largely shared in in, in Indian sort of uh, intelligentsia, or is it like a a minority view? I I'm very keen to know your your. Uh, no, there, there are obviously, uh, I would not uh, say that there are uh, concerns which are being voiced uh, both nationally and internationally, uh, but I think uh, there is a popular sort of support uh, to uh, Prime Minister Modi's actions uh, on, uh, for example, uh, against corruption and against, uh, because what was happening is that, and please look, in, in fact, one of the major uh, sort of uh, very, and I found it a very emotive appeal, uh, which he has been saying across uh, rallies, uh, I mean, in different parts of the country that you know that he was really acting against the corrupt and it was the opposition now which was really talking about uh, saving the corrupt so i think uh, i mean those those sorts of i think uh, at some level do have a popular resonance uh, because also uh, i mean that you found i mean in fact uh, one of the congress mps was found with sta i mean stashed with uh, his home was stashed with uh, 300 plus uh, crores in cash uh, and also uh, similarly uh, so so i i think uh, uh, that there are concerns, uh, but I think uh, they are overblown, and uh, uh, it, uh, at, at one level uh, they seem to be much more about uh, peak with uh, the ruling dispensation uh, rather than uh, substantial sort of uh, uh, taking uh, take substantial take on uh, the issues at hand. 